to another video. This airport update is probably one of the biggest airport updates in recent channel history. I really hope this gets a good amount of views because there's a lot. We have two new models, a brand new airport, now my biggest airport. We got like 30 routes, a bunch of stuff is happening. I'm really excited. I didn't hype this up too well because I kind of wanted it to be a surprise. Only a few people really know that I started doing this airport, so I am really excited to start this up again. I'm sorry I haven't been posting or doing many live streams or whatever. It's just that I've been busy. I don't have my Infinite Flight subscription anymore. And yeah, I don't want to drag this along too. I don't want to drag this too long, but anyway, let's get started. And just to let you guys know, the setting for this airport update is late afternoon to evening. Most of the routes, almost all the routes in this update are going to be realistic, again, from mid-afternoon to um, early night time. So our first route here is a Frontier A320, which is going to be Frontier Flight 9108, operating on an A320. This is going to be heading out to San Juan. Next up here is our beautiful Colorado One livery, one of my favorite liveries. This is Southwest Airlines Flight 133 going to Denver, operating on a Southwest 737-700 in the Colorado One livery. Next up here in the old AirTran livery, this is a Southwest 737-700. It's going to get painted over soon, still in the AirTran livery from the merger. Not many of these, I don't think there's any of these left, but it is just going to count as a Southwest aircraft for now. Anyway, this is Southwest Airlines Flight 6588, going to head out to Atlanta, operating as a Southwest 737-700. Next up here is a Southwest 737-800, operating as Flight 986 to Chicago Midway. Oh, and by the way, all of these routes, unless I specifically say, are the same aircraft that they are operated in in real life, except that if there's any special liveries or anything, any special liveries are not there in real life. But anyway, here we have a Frontier A320. This aircraft is operating as Flight 9171, and it is going to be heading out to Denver. Next up here, we have a Southwest 737-200. These are all retired, but it's a fun little aircraft. It's in the Desert Gold livery. This route is normally operated on a 737-700, by the way. Anyway, this is Southwest Airlines Flight 2564, heading out to Orlando. Anyway, the terminal we just got done covering was the Southwest Frontier Terminal. I think Spirit operates there as well in real life. But anyway, now we are moving on to the Delta United Terminal. Next up here, we have a Delta Airlines 717. This is operating as Flight 4870 to Detroit. This route is normally operated on the CRJ 700, but I do not have any of those models, and this is the closest thing to that. Next up here, we have a United 737-800 in the new livery. Operating as United Airlines Flight 2301. This is going to be heading out to Chicago O'Hare. Normally, this is normally operated on the A319, just for your information. Next up here, we have a United Express ERJ 170. This is going to be heading out to Houston Intercontinental. This is operating as Flight 6302. It is, flight is usually operated on the ERJ, usually it is the 175, but occasionally they'll switch it to the 170. Here we have a United 737-800. This flight is going to be operating out to Denver as flight 2288, and this is also operated in real life on the 737-800. Next up here, we have United Express Flight 6115, operating as a CRJ-170 to Houston, not Houston, I'm sorry, Washington Dulles. This is normally operated on the CRJ-700. I have to say the weakest part of my collection is my Delta fleet. It's two aircraft that are not really seen that much. I'm thinking about getting a 737-800 for Christmas or something, but we will see. 
Anyway, right here we have a Delta A220 operating as Delta Airlines Flight 1280 to Atlanta. This is normally operated on the 737-800. Next up here we have a Delta 717 operating as Flight 4892 heading out to Detroit. This is normally operated on the CRJ900. Next up here, we probably have the section I am most excited for of all, the American Airlines Terminal. It's very big, it's probably the biggest terminal of this airport, that, or at least the model airport that I've built, and we have the most planes in this terminal as well. So, without further ado, let's get started with the American Terminal. Next up here, we have a very interesting thing. We have a American Eagle ERJ-145 that's going to be heading out to Albany as American Airlines Flight 6109. There are actually two flights that operate as American Airlines 6109. One goes to Albany, the other one goes to Watertown, and they both depart like five minutes from each other. So let me know if anyone has an idea what that is. Two flights, same flight number, leaving like two, like five, ten minutes apart. So yeah. Next up here is an American Eagle CRJ200. This is a new model, one of two. These are all retired, so it's not realistic anyway. Also, there's not very many American Eagle routes out of Philadelphia, which is something I find a little bit bizarre because it is a American Airlines hub. Anyway, this aircraft is going to be heading out to New York JFK. Again, the previous route is not a real route which is one of like four or five routes in the update that is unrealistic but this one here don't worry it is it is american airlines flight 4515 operating as a erj 175 heading out to washington reagan next up here we have an american airlines a319 in the america west livery this aircraft is going to be operating as American Airlines Flight 2525, which is normally operated on the A320. Not, not much of a difference, to be honest. Anyway, this is going to be heading out to Orlando. Next up here, we have an American Airlines A321neo. There, You'd be surprised how many American A321s there are out of Philadelphia. There's a lot of flights out of Philadelphia that are an American Airlines A321. But anyway, here's one of two that I'm going to be showing in this update today. This is American Airlines Flight 999, which is an A321 that is going to be heading out to Dallas Fort Worth. Next up here, we have an Alaska Airlines A319, which is going to be operating as Alaska Airlines Flight 17, heading out to Seattle. This route is normally operated on the 737-800 because in reality this route would be way too long for the A319. Uh, I wish I had another Alaska aircraft, I'm thinking about getting one, but yeah. Okay, here is new model 2 of 2, which is an American Airlines 787-8. Really like this model, the covering is a little bit off, but... That's fine, I really like it. The 788, there's actually like five, six, seven flights out of Philadelphia that are on the 787-8, which is surprising because there's really not that many international flights, but American really likes to operate the 788 out of Philadelphia. So this is American Airlines 787-8 that's going to be heading out to Chicago O'Hare as American Airlines flight 873. Next up here we have another American Airlines A321. Again, like I said, the A321 is very plentiful here at Philadelphia. Now, this and the 78, 787 are surprisingly the two most used aircraft out of Philadelphia, at least for American. Anyway, this is American Airlines Flight 1822 on the A321 out to Charlotte. Next up here, on the American Airlines section is an American Eagle ERJ-175. This aircraft is going to be heading out to Boston as American Airlines Flight 4353. Yeah. 
Next up here is another American Airlines ERJ-145. This is also flight 6109, which is going to be heading out to Watertown. Again, two flights 6109 going out within 10 minutes of each other. Same aircraft, same whatever, I'm not sure why. That's at least what I saw when I checked the flights to Philadelphia today, but yeah. American Eagle ERJ-145 operating as flight 6109 to Watertown. Now this next, the international terminal right now at Philadelphia is just, or the, at least the international travel, which is what I meant to say, is just the American 788. But uh, I did decide to add some extra routes, some airlines that would be flying here normally without COVID. I sent all the flight numbers for almost all the flights before, so I decided I'll throw in a few international routes, three of which are not realistic, one of which is. So here's a British Airways 777 heading out to London Heathrow. Next up here is a Lufthansa A330 in the new awful livery. This is going to be heading out to Frankfurt. And last but not least for the, at least for the moment, unrealistic international routes these flights would be operating if there was no such thing as COVID. An Air Canada Express ERJ-175. This is going to be heading out to Toronto Pearson. And our final flight of the update is another American 787-8. Operating as flight 9702, that is going to be heading out to Amsterdam. International travel is still happening out of Philadelphia. It's just mostly, it's all American flying those international routes. No one else is. So, yeah. Anyways, this should wrap up the first ever update of Philadelphia International Airport. Really enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of me reading out all the flight numbers. If you want me to do it or not, it's extra work for me, but it's worth it if you guys enjoyed it. Subscription routes, I'm not going to start right away. I'm going to do the same thing I did with Norfolk and do it after the second. I'm going to create the Google form after the second update. If you really want to submit a subscription route, then go ahead, just leave a comment. I'll throw it in the next update, but there will not be a Google form until the second update of Philadelphia International Airport. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought of this update. Hope you enjoyed. That's it for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.